This has been used for a couple of days, but Axios came out and said they obtained a classified Israeli foreign ministry cable to the US. Basically, where Israel is requesting the US and US lawmakers at state and federal level to try and pressure South Africa into dropping the genocide case in the ICJ. Now, I don't want to say this is an admission of guilt. However, if you're trying to get someone to drop a case against you, it's it's pretty telling, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, and also, to be honest, Israel's thing here is they're just trying to take away as much heat on them because the court of public opinion has shifted on them. For years, they've been able to get away with murdering Palestinians because, in general, the court of public opinion has just been... I don't care whatever's going on in the Middle East, it doesn't matter. And I'm sure there's still a bunch of people who are still like that, unfortunately. But more and more, we, we're even seeing in polls across the world, including the US, more and more people are caring about the situation. I think 8% of Gen Z said it is their top priority when it comes to the upcoming US presidential election. I think 71% of Democrat voters want there to be an arms embargo. So it's very clear this is a pressing issue globally and they're seeing global solidarity movements growing. Like people from across the world are coming together and, you know, forming solidarity. Even people who are fighting for rights in a different part of the world are trying to join with the Palestinians in fighting for their rights. So now Israel are trying to be like, well, this high profile South Africa case, which people keep coming back to, if we get that quashed, that's one less big thing that's being said against us. I mean, they've done it very successfully in the past. Well, not even the past, the present. You have Joe Biden coming out and saying, yeah, the murder of that US uh, civilian, that was that was totally an accident, guys. And it's purely because if Israel falls, the US loses this big investment in the Middle East. So Israel has basically said, look, guys, we need you to pressure South Africa so you guys can hold on to your outpost in the Middle East. It's a circle. The US and Israel will back each other like a circle because they both benefit from this murder of Palestinians and trying to take off as much heat as possible will help them continue murdering Palestinians to further their own economic goals.